What are they building over there? Travelers on Kimberley Road or Orchard have definitely noticed major construction taking place just south of Cliff Bar. But what is it? I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, and I'll take a look at the Gemini Business Park, the latest development in major manufacturing for the Magic Valley. Um, you can see I'm putting on the roof here. Tyler Jeffers has put in years of effort getting this project to this point. As managing partner of Summit Creek Development, Jeffers has herded the plans and permits and negotiations through dozens of meetings. Now, Gemini Business Park's first phase is well underway. It's the newest facility in the neighborhood that includes Chobani and Cliff Bar. Those are the two nicest industrial buildings uh, around. Um, both of those companies uh, spent a lot of time and money to design buildings that are uh, not only function really well for their businesses, but are also attractive from the outside. Another 20 buildings are planned over the next several years, totaling more than a million square feet. Buildings will vary in size and can accommodate tenants needing anywhere from 6,000 to 200,000 square feet. You know, Similar to its industrial neighbors, the Gemini Business Park um, is a designated urban renewal area. It brings a lot of opportunity for other companies to come in, relocate to Twin, which then in turn raises our, the tax base that they're going to be paying for property taxes. Rudy Ashenbrenner is chairman of the Twin Falls Urban Renewal Agency, which has a 20-year agreement to reimburse portions of costs for infrastructure that benefit the general public. Anything from roads to sidewalks to gas, utilities, water and sewer. Urban renewal areas sometimes get mistaken for a tax break, but Ashenbrenner said the Magic Valley has made good use of the mechanism to promote economic development. He does not get all those taxes back. He does not not pay taxes. Uh, but through the agreements, the property taxes, as they continue to increase as he improves the land, he gets reimbursement on the things that we are able to help with. For Tyler, part of the job is meeting anticipated need and growing with the growth. Most of the companies that come here and want to locate here are doing so because they want to be here specifically for a reason. Phase one is expected to be complete, ready for tenants to move in by October. Silver Creek Development will continue to fill out the space with an additional 20 buildings over the next several years. I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, Idaho News 6.